Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect an external foot pedal, in this case actually it's not a, a normal foot pedal, it's a Boss GT10 guitar effects processor. Before I continue I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. So a little bit uh, about the setup before we go to Loopy Pro. Um, first of all, I tried to connect uh, uh, the Boss GT10 directly to the iPad via a USB cable and the iPad does not recognize it. Probably because of the age of the um, foot pedal and uh, uh, guitar effect processor. I'm sure some of the uh, recent ones probably will not have that problem. So I have to actually, I had to actually use a USB MIDI interface and I used a Roland UM1, as you can see, it is on the right hand side near the um, expression pedal. Um, as you can see in uh, the foot pedal, I have uh, four switches, one to four to activate different setups and also have two control uh, switches, one and two and also two bank switches. And what you find is that they respond in this case in different ways. And for example, not all the pedals in um, <clears throat> this uh, uh, guitar effect processor will send me the messages if you press them again. For example, pedal between one to four, they don't they send only a MIDI message um, only the first time you press them. If you press them again and it is the same pedal, they don't send another message. But if you press a different pedal, they do. While, for example, the control pedal, actually, they always send me the messages. So that's something to uh, to check on your pedal. So first of all, let's create an uh, audio channel and let's load Loopy Pro. Um, next, I'm going uh, on the first clip to uh, load an audio loop. It doesn't really matter which one, just one because um, the tutorial uh, purpose is to show you the connectivity to the pedal or to an external panel. Next, what you want to do um, is to start using um, MIDI, of course. But before we do that, let's close that and let's go to the connectivity and look at the MIDI sources. And in my case, I have the USB MIDI interface called the UM1 from Roland. So I'm connect that directly to this channel so that I allow uh, MIDI messages coming from that MIDI source and going directly to Loopy Pro. Of course, you can do this in different ways. For example, um, if you're not inside the AUM, and I will show you another example outside the AUM. But in this case, to start with, it's quite easy to go to AUM. Um, there's also um, profiles to cover from a MIDI perspective, but I'm not going to cover them now. I will do a dedicated uh, tutorial for that. So as a first introduction to MIDI sources, let's click on the edit button and down at the bottom here, you find this icon for MIDI. Let's click on that. Let's don't worry for now what it says here, uh, project that, don't worry about that. Click on the first clip and at the bottom, you will see it will says, um, it says listening for MIDI. Okay, so I'm going now to my GT10 and I'm going to um, press pedal four. Actually, before I do that, it is already pressed. So I'm going to press uh, pedal number three and look what happens at the bottom. It says PC program change 34 from UM1, but then it changed and it says old CC0 from audio unit MIDI in. That's an important thing to know. So you can delete that on the X and you can go back and it will give you the option to learn or to set up. Let's go for learn again. Let's press now pedal number four. And again, it says program change 35, but then it moved to hold CC0 from audio MIDI unit in. So pr let's press on it. It goes into this menu. We are under the trigger play and stop. Just to remember that as well. What well, it says device here, let's change from audio unit MIDI in to my MIDI interface, USB MIDI interface, and then I'm going to change to program change that. Channel number one is fine, and I'm going to program change number 35. 
Okay, so I exit now and um, I go back to the loop view. Okay, and actually, and I close also the view um, for the MIDI line. Now, let's click on pedal number four. Nothing happens because it doesn't send that program change because it's already activated. Let's click pedal three. Nothing happens. Let's go to pedal four again. And now start, as you can see. Now, you haven't heard anything because the play was off. So let me do it again. Let's click play. Pedal number three. Nothing. Pedal number uh, five. It will start. If I press again, nothing happens. He's waiting for the master clock synth, but eventually it will start right now. Okay, as you can see, that's not great, but there's nothing wrong. It's the way that, um, in this case, program changes, changes or MIDI messages are sent from the pedal. So they are not repeated when a pedal has been just pressed. However, if I go to the control, one and two pedals, they act differently. So let's try. So I go back to the MIDI learn. This time I go from the hamburger menu and I click MIDI learn, another way to get to it. Let's click on the clip again. Then let's delete this one. Let's click again, learn. So it's listening for MIDI messages. I now press the control one pedal. It says CC80 on control change 80 on. However, it picks up the wrong audio unit MIDI in. So let's click on it. And um, under device, let's select again the uh, UM1 MIDI interface, which is the one I'm using. And then uh, channel one is okay. CC messages is okay. CC number 80 is okay as well. I'll leave it uh, the option on for now. I will cover all of those in another tutorial, but let me close these. And now let's go back to the looping view and press the control one pedal. As you can see, it's starting. If I press again, and I press again, it stopped. So as you can see, I have connected um, the GT10 guitar FS effects processor pedals to Loopy Pro inside AUM. As you can see also, some pedals repeat program change, sorry, uh, some pedals repeat control CC messages. Other pedals like the 1 to 4 and the GT10, when a pedal is selected, they don't send again a program change. So when you look at how to set up your uh, pedal or external device, you really need to pay attention to how the way it works. I have another tutorial coming, which will show you how to connect a Launchpad Pro MK3. So I look forward to show you that one as well. Thank you very much. Bye.